This is the Scutum constellation. It is a small and faint equatorial constellation, which appears highest in the evening sky in the months around June from the Northern Hemisphere. But you know what is the weirdest thing about this constellation? Scientists are receiving strange signal from a mysterious object from this constellation every 22 minutes. This strange signal doesn't fit in for any known object without some major revisions to current physics. There is currently no conclusive explanation by the experts who discovered them regarding the signal's origin. Even worse, after roughly five minutes of continuous flashing, the signal abruptly vanished and reappeared exactly 22 minutes later. Scientists finally discovered, after long research, that this signal had been reaching us continuously for the past 35 years. But who is sending this strange radio signals towards Earth? Is this a source from any alien civilization out there in Scutum constellation? Or is it something else? Join us today as we explore more about these radio signals from the Scutum constellation. The Murchison Wide Field Array, a radio telescope covering the Western Australian desert, was the first to pick up this signal. It was identified as GPMJ 183910 and located roughly 15,000 light years away from Earth in the Scutum constellation. The repeating radio pulses were first identified in MWA data from July to September 2022, and then they were verified by numerous other telescopes worldwide. Like clockwork, the blasts erupt every 21 minutes and last anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes. As a result, it is the longest continuously occurring radio emission ever found in space. Even more concerning than the discovery is that this radio signal remained undiscovered for over 30 years is the fact that scientists are still unsure of its nature. However, there are other theories that the experts have regarding what might be causing it. So think twice before assuming that extraterrestrial life is attempting to contact our planet. While some repeated radio signals are expected in space, most of them blink on and off far faster quickly. The most frequent repeating signals are from pulsars, which are rotating neutron stars that, like lighthouses, rotate towards and away from Earth and release intense beams of light. Let's first understand what are pulsars and neutron stars. When a big star runs out of fuel and collapses, neutron stars are created. Every proton and electron in the star's core are crushed together to become neutrons when the core collapses. These newly produced neutrons have the ability to stop the collapse of a dying star and leave behind a neutron star if the star's core is between one and three solar masses. The result of this collapse is the most dense known object, a sun-sized object with the mass of a metropolis compressed inside. The diameter of these star remnants is around 20 kilometers. A sugar cube made of neutron star material would weigh as much as a mountain on Earth, roughly 1 trillion kilograms or 1 billion tons. Since neutron stars emerged as stars, they can be found sometimes in the same places as stars throughout the galaxy. They can also be found in binary systems with a companion or by themselves, just like stars. Pulsars are the most common observation of neutron stars. Pulsars are revolving neutron stars that are known to emit radiation pulses at extremely regular intervals, usually between milliseconds and seconds. Strong magnetic fields seen in pulsars cause jets of particles to be directed towards each of the two magnetic poles. Strong light beams are produced by these accelerated particles. These particle and light beams are swept around as the star rotates because the magnetic field is frequently out of alignment with the spin axis. As the beam sweeps over Earth, we witness pulsars turning on and off when it enters our line of sight. A pulsar can be compared to a lighthouse. 
A lighthouse emits a beam of light over the sky at night. You can only see the beam of light when it is pointed directly in your direction, even though the light is shining continuously. However, pulsars slow down with time, becoming fainter as they get older and finally ceasing to emit radio waves. Even more puzzling is the fact that the object the researchers discovered rotates 1,000 times slower than a pulsar. In fact, researchers observe that it shouldn't be possible for it to create radio waves at all. The object is rotating so slowly that it is below what is known as the death line, which is the point at which a star's magnetic field is no longer strong enough to generate radio emissions. Thus, one thing was certain, this object is not a pulsar. Astronomers began making more detailed observations and investigations of the mysterious pulsating in order to ascertain its cause. Additional telescopes were used to confirm the finding and find out more about the unique characteristics of the object. This includes the XMM-Newton Space Telescope, the Grantikin 10M Telescope, the Meerkat Radio Telescope in South Africa, and three CSIRO radio telescopes in Australia. Equipped with the celestial coordinates and characteristics of GPM J1839-10, the group continued to examine the observational archives of the most renowned radio telescopes globally. The team claims that this is most likely an ultra-long period magnetar. These tiny objects are special kinds of neutron stars with strong magnetic fields that, when they spin, can produce periodic radio signals. One issue is that the majority of these rotate at such a high speed that their radio bursts only last a few milliseconds, or even a second or two, and they come back in a matter of minutes at most. It should be impossible for a magnetar to revolve so slowly that its bursts last five minutes, and the entire cycle takes more than 20 minutes to repeat, given what we know about magnetar physics. According to lead study author Dr. Natasha Hurley-Walker, assuming it's a magnetar, it shouldn't be possible for this object to produce radio waves. The fact that GPMJ 1839-10 has been active for a longer period of time than any other known magnetar adds even more mystery to the situation. This one appears to have been going strong for nearly 35 years, although most only go through a phase of generating radio waves that lasts a few months to years until they fade out. The signal has been shooting out since at least 1988, according to data that the researchers analyzed from various radio telescopes at the same positions. This discovery has major implications for our understanding of the behavior of magnetic fields in harsh environments and the physics of neutron stars. It may also provide information on the origin of mysterious phenomena, like rapid radio bursts, and raise new concerns about the formation and evolution of magnetars. To find out more about the characteristics and behavior of the magnetar, the research team wants to make more observations of it. In the future, they also aim to find more of these mysterious objects to figure out whether they are ultra-long period magnetars or something even more extraordinary. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.